Satnam and good morning. This is a little bit a post-birthday Monday morning Kundalini yoga sequence. I'm out and about and I thought because I'm so thankful and there is so much gratitude and I'm still on cloud nine, I'm quickly going to share a few of my favorite exercises that I'm doing when I have no time. Okay, let's uh, tune right in with the Adi Mantra. Take your arms up over your head and down. Press the fingertips together and begin deepening your breath. Allowing life force to enter your body and then be exhaling to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Hakre name, Jugakre name, Sakre name, Siri Guru Deve name. Hakre name, Jugakre name, Sakre name, Siri Guru Deve name. Hakre name, Jugakre name, Sakre name, Siri Guru Deve name. And holding this thought of uh, gratitude and thankfulness within, we can open our eyes now and release the posture. Okay, so when we don't have too much time, we usually um, choose the exercises that we like the most. And as for my part, I don't like to use a timer then. I just go with a little a sand clock. Okay, let's... Go right ahead, roll your shoulders back, take your arms and we're going to twist. So we're going to really rinse and squeeze and renew. Inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling sat to the left, exhaling nam. Okay, here we go. Inhale for once, exhale and begin. Eyes rolling up and looking inward in between the eyebrows, your pineal gland. Good. So I like to begin with twists. They make me feel awake and they make me feel I'm renewing myself. So if you have wondered if I do drink alcohol, no, I don't. I never was a big a drinker. I cannot really handle alcohol. So for me, starting off with a twist on Monday morning, this is good. Um, if you do like an occasional alcoholic beverage, I believe maybe you should go slower with your twists and maybe also breathe a little bit more carefully and consciously. So there is, of course, a yogic guideline, but as we all know, most people are not born as uh, yogis and climbing or walking a path. So for everyone that is just in the beginning, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. It's all part of the process. Okay, keep on chanting verbally, Satnam. As you can hear in the background, my laundry is already running. So often I don't have time to dress up all nice in white. So I'm just getting the day started with whatever I have to do. 
and in between I'm building in a little bit of my practice. Okay, then inhale, take your arms out to the side, squeeze Mulat Band, hold your breath in, suspend your breath. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Exhale, release. So let's just have an indication that's about three minutes. So Kundalini Yoga is the yoga of awareness. So we always um, trying to really talk to our body and being aware. How does your body feel, your physical body? How does your um, spiritual body respond? So whenever you need a break, take a break. Now let's do some really subtle neck rolls. Exhaling, tuck your chin and then begin clockwise. Inhaling as you drop the back in the back, the head in the back, sorry, and exhaling as you come forward. So tapping in, waking up the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, the thyroid, thyroid gland, parathyroid. So this is one exercise I always recommend, always every day. Just really subtle and easy neck rolls go a very long way really elongating through the crown of your head feel this nice stretch allowing the prana the life force to travel to curl up and allowing the apana to leave your body Okay, and then tap forward and reverse directions. Again, I really like to encourage you that if you are busy working, parenting, being on the road, just build in a practice of 11 minutes to begin. Or just build in a little bit here and there. And I promise you, you will feel the results immediately. So this is the power of Kundalini Yoga, of the practice to really be able to, within a few minutes, change the entire energetic body, your mood, your physical feeling. Okay, good. Good. And let's just go for a little bit of a shoulder shrug. getting hot here, feeling really the heat rising up. Okay, and then squeeze the shoulders up and squeeze one that bump really, really hard, containing the energy, letting the energy rise, good. And holding, learning to suspend your breath. Good, and then exhale. All right, so let's release the toes a little bit. So remember, I always tell you when we sit in rock pose, just come onto your tippy toes and that leads us to the next exercise. I might have to um, go back a little bit so you can see me better. So my favorite, I'm trying to aim for 26. Um, I'm not sure if I can today, but let's try it. So we are inhaling, coming onto the tippy toes, frog inhaling and then exhale. Two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay, just hold your breath here, squeeze. And now exhale. Okay, and come down. Let's give our live nerve a little stretch. Okay, just sit here. We're taking the arms up and we are inhaling and exhaling to the left. Inhaling to the middle, exhaling right. And it's again. Strong breath, look in between your eyebrows. Really flex your feet, your toes, all the way elongating up to the sky, and then really stretch your life nerve and elongate through the crown of the head as you come up. And really deeply breathe in and out through your nose. Keep your lips sealed. And inhale now, come back to center. Squeeze, breathe in, hold and squeeze more band. Good, hold it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Exhale, release, okay. Okay, come to sit in Baddha Konasana. And you're just holding on to our feet, left thumb over right, elongating through the crown of the head, releasing all tension, and then just begin to flutter by. Good, inhaling. You can apply a little bit of breath of fire here. So begin to pump your stomach, squeeze more at once slightly. And inhale, suspend, and 
your legs. All right. Okay. Okay, let's do a little bit, a um, little bit more work. Opening across the arc line, rolling the shoulders back, and then begin to circle your arms. Light breath of fire here. Really keep the arms long and straight, energized through the fingertips. Always remember, we see them as little antennas, the antennas that's spreading out to the universe. Okay, so keep on breathing, nice posture, really engage Uriana Banda, pulling back and forth, and really overcoming that physical challenge. Okay, keep on breathing. can smile with me. So obviously I'm still very excited and completely overwhelmed with all what happened on the weekend and beautiful messages and beautiful people around me. So maybe also that gets me going. So even so more, I realize how, how important it is not to lose touch with human beings all that online and shopping online um, working online exercises is nice but to have real human interactions is for me what keeps me going i love people even though i'm a lonely wolf at times i do love people i love being with people and i think ever since my 22nd or 21st birthday i love connecting people from all different areas so not only yogis but just everyone i love how people connect even maybe they come from completely different um, um businesses different lifestyles and then you will see actually we all the same so it's not only about where you're coming from what color of skin it's really Often we shy away, we think, oh, we can't connect um, bankers and brokers with the hippie yogis, but this is not true. Everyone sort of uh, has a connection to someone, so I enjoy this. Oh, we've done three minutes. I could go longer. Do you want to go longer? It feels so um, rejuvenating. Okay, keep on going longer a little bit more if you can. If you're not, you can take your arms already up, like so. Squeeze more that band, breathe in deeply, and then hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale. Okay, before we integrate, what uh, now it's almost 20 minutes. So we do one more of my favorite, favorite exercises. So when I'm very lazy, or I'm low energy, one of the exercises that I really like to do is the crisscross scissors. So you would come to lie down and just try to get your um, legs as straight as you can and then begin to crisscross scissors. And again, you will just um, breathe in and out through your nose, relax through the facial muscles, really deeply relax. Make sure that your lower back is on your sheepskin or your yoga mat or on the grass, wherever you are. And just keep breathing and really extend through the tippy toes. Good, relax. 
this space between your eyebrows, in between your eyes. Keep nice and grounded. So these are some of my really favorite, favorite exercises that I, to be honest, do every day or when I'm very, very lazy, when I don't want to go for a written sequence, then this is what I like to do. Very, very simple, very easy. Nothing too challenging, nothing too crazy. Just something that gives me the feeling I have done something to renew my physical body. I will not sit with you in the meditation today. I did this already very early in the morning. So I got up extremely early and okay, that's about a minute and let's hold our knees toward us. You can take a bear grip and relax. So let's integrate here a little bit. Deep breath in and out through your nose. So a big part of uh, the Kundalini Yoga practice is the integration of exercises to allow the heart rate to slow down, to let the exercise resonate in our bodies, and really to relax deeply. And that's what we're gonna do now. So you can extend your legs. Just a few minutes here. Okay, let's turn it around. I like to use the old fashioned um, sand clock because sometimes I have the feeling it's rather contradictive to try to escape and then we are with our iPhones or electronic devices. So I like to use old fashioned um, sand clocks and just get an indication of time. It can be more or less. Now really relax your physical body, become heavy. Allow the lips to slightly open. Separate your teeth and feel the energy circulating around you. We cleansed our aura. We squeezed a little bit the internal organs. And we welcome Monday morning. So this is the most important, just a short set to get ourselves back on track. And often I will do when I only have the time for 20 minute, 25 minutes set in the morning. I will do a little bit more of restorative nervous system, cooling and calming exercises and meditation in the evening. Maybe some Nadi Shodana Pranayama. And your body will thank you. And then we bring awareness to our fingertips and toes. Start to wriggle them in movement. And then rotating the ankles and wrist. Our concluding set. And then exhale your right knee toward your chest. And exhale over to your left side. Cat stretch. Feels good. Really stretch deeply. And come back to center first. Find your center line. Inhale. 
exhale your left knee toward your chest and over to your right ideally the shoulder blades should stay on the ground but if this is not possible don't worry about it okay that feels good come back to center line now take the sole of your feet and your palms and then just look up creating heat grounding ourselves so this is a real quick set this is usually part of my warm-up but i have to go i have to get going very busy this week okay and then we roll up and down let's do a few more than just three so if you anticipating 100 or 120 years i highly recommend you roll up and down like a child every day one minute two minutes three minutes it doesn't matter just keep your spine fluid yeah keep it young keep it youthful energetic and in the same way we're strengthening the power center our navel center so this is an exercise everyone can almost do okay all right oh yeah that feels good all right now let's tune out i'm very um static today okay inhale exhale up and overhead be thankful to this practice every minute counts every minute makes a difference and exhale to begin chanting satnam three times to end this short practice inhale so Sat Nam Sat Nam 